I'm Lynn Reef, and uh, I'm a professor of history uh, here at UNA, and I'm also uh, the director of the Center for Women's Studies uh, at UNA. Uh, I'm originally from southern Georgia. Uh, I've, I, that said, I've lived in Alabama all of my professional life, so uh, at this point in my career, I've lived in Alabama much longer than I, I ever lived in Georgia. Uh, I went to, my, my undergraduate background is at Valdosta State University, which is in southern Georgia. Valdosta State used to be, when we were in Division II, a reg, one of our regional competitors. So it's a regional university as well. And then I went to graduate school at Auburn University. What attracted us to, to UNA uh, is the fact that it's a public regional university. What we particularly uh, liked about it, what I still like about it, is that the students don't remain anonymous at UNA. We limit our class sizes in the history department where it's, it's possible uh, to really engage your students one-on-one -on -one and to learn everybody's names uh, when I was in grad school at Auburn and TA'd for some large classes. We might have had a class of three or 400 plus students. And it was just, you know, the students were numbers in that, that class. Uh, but, but that's something that's, that I think is uh, an important part of the ethos at, at UNA is that we, our, our students don't remain anonymous, that we, we do try to meet them where we are and really engage with them, not only in class, but also find opportunities outside of class to engage with our students. As far as advice that I would have for, for someone who's planning on pursuing a career, of his, a career in history, there would be a couple of, of points or, or things that, that I would encourage anyone to, to reflect on. First of all, to, to be candid, the history market professional market is not great. Yeah, um, but so first of all, uh, you've got to be willing to move. You've got to be willing to be mobile, to move to wherever the job is. Don't, don't think that you're gonna be able to pick the locale, the, the city that you want to, or even the state that you want to live in and that you can find a job there. So, so that willingness to be mobile, first and foremost, and then secondly, I would encourage someone going who's in graduate school to uh, think about um, uh, as even though graduate school prepares you for and, and you'll be choosing your field of study, which may be fairly a fairly narrow field of study or specialization, to think beyond that, that your first job or your first couple of jobs actually you may be asked to teach a lot, many more courses than just those in your narrow field of study. So think about preparing yourself in a general way and becoming a bit of a generalist where you, you can do a, teach a number of things and do a number of things for whatever college or university that you might land your first job.